Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can apply for a single entry visa in Kenya. Down here below, we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed instructions on how you can go about the application process. Additionally, on the right hand side of our screen, we have given you a select language option through which you can select the language which you easily understand and by selecting that language, all the information on the wiki procedure website page will be translated to the language of your choice and you will be able to read through the instructions uh, with ease. And you can easily revert back to English by once again clicking on that down on pointing arrow and choosing English. We have also included external links to other websites which you can visit to get more information on how you can uh, make your uh, visa application, the single entry visa application. And we have also included the external links to the uh, eCitizen online platform uh, which we are going to visit and make our application from. Uh, we are going to go through this process as we move on with our presentation today. But before we move on with our presentation, I will urge you uh, to hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe and notification bell. So you can get notifications every time we upload new content in our uh, wiki procedure youtube channel so let's get back to our presentation and the list of items which we are going to cover in this session include the need for the single entry visa the eligibility criteria the required documents steps to follow in making the applications the fees validity period processing time office location and contact information and any other information that we may find relevant on how to apply for the single entry visa in kenya so welcome to our presentation today which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com the need for a single entry visas 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 are the permission granted by a sovereign nation to a traveler permitting entry for a specific passports uh, the single entry visa is issued for single entry to persons whose nationalities require visa to enter Kenya either for business tourism or medical reasons the eligibility criteria uh, the, single entry the single entry visa is issued to persons whose nationalities require them to enter Kenya either uh, 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 sorry uh, the single entry visa uh, is issued to persons whose nationalities require visa to enter Kenya either for business tourism or medical purposes. Uh, in addition, uh, you should note that children under, the, under 16 years of age are exempted from visa payment and are not expected to make a visa application. The required documents. You need a valid passport with at least one blank page uh, with a clear biodata uh, page and passport photograph. You need valid, uh, valid travel documents which are not less than six months old and an onward uh, ticket. Steps to follow in making the application. The single entry visa is issued uh, for single entry to persons whose nationalities require visa to enter Kenya either for business, tourism or medical reasons. The first step uh, to make the application, you need to know the application can only be done online. So the first step is to register on eCitizen through the following link and click on the create account icon then uh, on the create account icon under the e-visa uh, tab. Uh, you will need to fill in your uh, personal information so as to register for an e-citizen account. This includes your passport number, name, email address, nationality to complete your registration. Once you have registered, uh, uh, you will need then to log in into your e-citizen account and, and navigate to the Department of Immigration Services. Then click on the Submit Application button. Uh, this uh, will take you to the next page where you are supposed to click on Get Service Now. Then select the blue button Make Application on the next window. Uh, from here, uh, you'll be taken to the next page where you're supposed to click the plus sign on the Kenya Visa tab uh, and then uh, select Apply for a single visa, a single entry visa. Read the instructions carefully and make sure you have all the requirements to make the application. Then click Apply Now the, on the Apply Now button, which will direct you to the online application form. Fill in the online application form uh, with all the required uh, details and upload all supporting documents, then tick the declaration box and then click continue. This will direct you to the next page where you are supposed to review your entry details and if everything is on order, click on the submit button to finish. This will direct you to the next page where you are supposed to make payment for the single entry visa using the provided methods uh, and click on the submit uh, button. Uh, the, as a fee of uh, 51 uh, US dollars is charged for the uh, for the single entry visa 
and you will receive notification of payment in your email uh, address confirming application confirming your payment and once the visa is approved the single entry visa uh, will be made available in your e-citizen account and you'll be you'll also receive a notification email in your email address once your visa is available this is usually after a period of two days and you must print a copy of your visa from your e-citizen account and carry it uh, with your passport when you travel to kenya and when you arrive in kenya you must have uh, your visa print out uh, with your passport and present it to the immigration officer at the point of entry for you to be uh, granted entry into Kenya so let's just see how this is done online okay so first of all you're supposed to uh, navigate to the e-citizen online platform you can do that by clicking on this link right here or you can just type in www.ecitizen.go.ke uh, if you don't have an uh, e-citizen account uh, we have a video uh, showing how you can create your e-citizen account uh, your online account uh, but you can also just do the following. Just click on the create account icon. Uh, this is going to take you to the next page uh, where you're now supposed to create your account. Uh, because you are a visitor, click on the uh, e-visa visitors account. So create. I click on this create account icon. This is going to take you to the next page where you're now supposed to fill in your details, your pass passport number, uh, full names, your gender, nationality, um, email address and and password and click agree on the terms and conditions and click on continue this is going to send a verification email to your email address and click on that verification email and, and after once you have clicked that email you'll be directed to the login page and using the email address and password uh, which you have uh, registered with uh, login into your, e your into your now new uh, e-citizen account so enter your the email address you've registered with and the password click on login and you'll be directed uh, to your dashboard once you are here come to the uh, to this uh, department of immigration service and click on the get service button by clicking on the get service button you'll be directed to this uh, next page and once you're on this next page just click on the make application icon by clicking the make, make application icon, you'll be directed to the next page. Uh, this page, uh, you'll find it uh, like so. So click on the plus button and select the single entry visa. By clicking on the single entry visa, you'll be directed to the next page uh, where you're supposed to read uh, the instructions carefully. Uh, make sure you have uh, everything in order. Then click on the uh, apply now uh, button. By clicking on the apply now button you will be directed to the online uh, application form so the first part of the online application form you'll be required to uh, give information about yourself uh, where you're making the uh, application form which country you're making the application form if you're applying for yourself a child a spouse or an agent uh, then you're supposed to give now details concerning your uh, your, your your, your 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 name your full names your gender date of birth a place of birth country of birth current occupation father's and mother's name and spouse name if if uh, you're married click on continue by clicking continue you'll be taken to the next page which is the uh, you are supposed to give information about your nationality and residence so give information about your current nationality county of country of residence uh physical uh, address of the country of residence phone number and city uh, where you live in in your country of residence and your email address click on continue by clicking continue you'll be directed to the next page where you are now supposed to give details about your travel uh, documents that's your passport uh, so you'll be uh, asked to give your passport number the place of issue date of issue the expiry date and uh, who, uh, the issuing authority after that click on continue by clicking continue you'll be directed to the next page you are supposed to give reasons for travel so you can choose either business education employment medical religion settlement tourism or others so uh, select whichever uh, the the reason you you seek the single entry visa uh, the proposed date of entry and the proposed date of departure uh, the full names of places you are going to visit hotels if you have family and friends uh, you're supposed to give their names and uh, uh, their addresses uh, telephone number and email addresses and you're supposed to uh, give uh, uh, which uh, 
in which mode are you going to arrive by in Kenya if it's by air choose which airport you are going to land in uh, with uh, uh, land on then click on continue which is going to direct you to the travel history supposed to give uh, a history about your travels uh, in the uh, last three months if you've ever traveled to Kenya before if you've ever been uh, if you're planning to go back to your country of residence if you've ever been denied entry to any country and if you have any criminal offense after that just click on continue by clicking continue you'll be directed to the next page where you're now supposed to upload uh, supporting documents uh, here you are supposed to upload uh, the pic uh, the bio data page on your passport so uh, you can scan or take or take a photo of your passport that bio data page then attach here upload um, uh, additional documents this can be invitation letter from the company or friends uh, copies uh, uh, copies of registration of the company or family you want to visit invitation letter from the family uh, travel uh, itinerary hotel bookings and um, you can uh, uh, entry permit from the host country you can upload all documents uh, which uh, are relevant to your travels here and you're supposed uh, finally to upload your a passport photo after that uh, tick the declaration and then click on submit by clicking submit you'll take you'll be directed to the end uh, where you're supposed to review your entry um sorry about that you can review your entry uh, uh, to application uh, for single entry visa uh, you can review your entry to see everything is okay and you can see the total is 51 dollars so you can review and see everything is okay if everything is okay just click on the submit button and it will take you to uh, the payment page and you're supposed to choose either one method of payment you can either pay using mpesa uh, you can either pay using the debit card airtel money easy pay kcb cash and uh, one of those methods and if you're not able to pay uh, using uh, the online method you can also uh, print the invoice uh, using uh, uh, print the invoice you can print this invoice and submit it uh, to the Kenyan Embassy uh, for you to be facilitated in payment or you can pay at the point of a uh, port of entry as you, you can see uh, the amount is $52 uh, they have charged uh, a card handling fee so it's that simple and after you've made the payment uh, you receive your permit uh, 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 after in your account in your e-citizen account uh, after it has been processed so the applicable fees the, uh, uh, a fee of 51 us dollars is charged for the single entry visa uh, single the validity period uh, for the single entry visa is three months before you travel once it's uh, before you travel once it's issued and once you uh, present yourself to the immigration control at the port, port of entry uh, you may be issued with a stay period of not exceeding 90 days which may be renewed for a further 90 days at the Im immigration headquarters the maximum number of days of stays in Kenya uh, is six months you need to note that the processing time is two days so after two days you receive your uh, e single entry visa in your e-citizen account the office location and contact information of the Department of Immigration they are located at Nyayo house uh, through the, uh, in, in in Nairobi Kenya and you can visit them through their website of www.immigration.go.ke you can also visit them through their e-citizen platform account of immigration.ecitizen.go.ke other information is that the possession of a visa is not the final authority to enter the Republic of Kenya and engaging in any form of business or employment without a requisite permit or pass is an offense please note that the visa is required prior to entry into Kenya so uh, that's it and thank you for watching our presentation today and before we conclude i will urge you to uh, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can get notifications once we upload new content in our uh, youtube channel so thanks for watching uh, watching our video today and i wish you all the best in your application for the single entry visa in kenya